Hello St Andrews. Okay, now it's my turn to read a story and I have picked one of my all-time favourite books, Five Minutes Peace. It was my mum's favourite, now I'm a mum, it's my favourite and I've been reading to this to my kids non-stop. Um, it's called Five Minutes Peace and it's by Jill Murphy. The children were having breakfast in the kitchen. This was not a pleasant sight. Look at the bowl on his head, look at the cereal on the floor, not very pleasant. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot and a jug of milk, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked the two other children. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs. Large. You can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play downstairs by yourselves and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs. Large ran a deep hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Can I play you a tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practicing, said Lester. You told me to. Can I, please, just for one minute? Go on then, sighed Mrs. Large. So Lester played. He played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my book? asked Laura. No, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bathwater. Thank you, dear said Mrs. Large weakly. Can I see the cartoons from the paper? asked Laura. Can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. Ooh. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. Look at them having loads of fun. Guess who's not? Mrs. Large got out, dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, that's why. And off she went downstairs where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came in to join her. Look at her, even putting her elbows in the egg from the breakfast. Poor Mrs. Large. And there they come, all trailing in behind her. Doo -doo 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 -doo. See you later.